recently, within the past couple months, we had a huge um, starfish die off along our coast. They're found from Alaska down to Baja, California, but they're one of the most common starfish off our coast. And so we've seen a huge die off in these starfish. So no one knows exactly what is causing it. So that's one of the things that's most kind of upsetting to go out to a beach where there used to be hundreds and hundreds of starfish and to see none is quite disturbing. It was actually first observed in the Vancouver Aquarium where they have a flow through seawater system. So all of their starfish started dying in their system. And then divers reported seeing dead starfish or dying starfish. And then along our coast, some other marine labs like the Long Marine Lab down in Santa Cruz, um, people that keep starfish there saw starfish dying. We started working with some colleagues to go back and look through pictures to see if we could see some of these signs of disease before the animals started dying. And there are some little signs that we can see that they're looking a little bit different. There have been some other starfish die-offs on the East Coast and in Southern California a number of years ago, and they're probably caused by either a bacteria or a virus. Um, so we can work with other scientists to help figure out what is causing the die-off but we can also engage our volunteer citizen scientists to get out there and look for starfish now and also to monitor the mussel beds where the starfish live because starfish eat mussels and there's some really famous ecological work that shows the importance of starfish in maintaining the communities that we see along our coast. If you take away the starfish, the mussels take over everything and they change the community dramatically. So we have a chance, it's kind of like an unanticipated experiment where we can get our volunteers out there to look at the mussels and see how the disappearance of these starfish has, will affect the communities going forward.